A look at display options in Signal. Let us open the data file. Use open or here a previously used data file. Here we see the data in standard display mode. We can optimize all channels by pressing the end key or drag the y-axis of a single channel. By clicking on a channel number it is then possible to drag and drop the channel on top of another. This produces an overdrawn display. Clicking the color palette button we can change the channel color. Channel background and application colors can also be modified here. Dragging the y-axis now you can see that only one channel updates. Channel 1, at the top, owns the axis. Double-clicking the axis opens the Y range dialog. Selecting lock axes here forces the two channels to share the same Y axis. Now when we adjust the Y axis, both channels update. Holding control down while clicking and dragging, the display is redrawn while the action is ongoing. Moving the mouse, you can see the cursor change from inside to outside arrows. As I move the cursor between the axis values and the small ticks, you can see the cursor pointer change. In the area of the axis with values, this allows us to zoom in and out. When on top of or near the small ticks, we can move the axis up and down. Clicking and dragging the channel 2 number allows us to separate the channels once more. Double clicking the data area of the channel hides all other channels. From the view pull down, overdraw frames can be selected. As you can see, the current frame is shown in green and all other frames in the file are grey. The view menu again, and this time overdraw settings. From here we can select which frames and frame subset to display. Subsets include all, tagged and untagged frames, as well as an option for defining a frame state. Overdraw colours are chosen here. Color cycling and draw at half intensity amongst the list. We can see the differences in the color usage. No color variation and fade to background. Selecting frame subset, then tagged frames, will only overdraw the frames that are marked as tagged. To tag a frame, we can press Ctrl and T. As we move through the file and tag frames, they are added to the overdraw list. The current frame is then superimposed on these. Right-clicking on the data gives access to the overdraw settings. Switching now from tagged to untagged frames to display, and now to frame state. Typing 4 in the selected frame state input box to show only this state and the current frame. Back to overdraw settings to display all frames. As well as superimposing the waveforms, we can also draw the sweeps in a 3D waterfall mode, selecting the 3D drawing checkbox here. With 3D mode selected, it is often useful to enable update display to show changes. We can select the maximum number of frames to display. Setting the value to zero displays all frames. Define the maximum time range to be overdrawn. Set the x-axis space that the data can exist in. the y-axis space that the data can occupy, here the x and y perspectives can be adjusted. The x perspective and the y perspective. Changing x-axis space to zero for the full width of display and x-perspective to 100% gives a head-on waterfall. Now changing the allocated y-axis space. Once we have the data displayed as we like it, we can adjust the axes, channel numbers and titles by using customized display from the view pull-down. We can select the channels to show and hide. 
choose to show or hide the numbers on the axes, the axes themselves, as well as units and channel titles. The Y axes can be displayed on the right hand side of the data and both X and Y axes shown as scale bars. Suppressing the axes numbers now, the channel numbers are not needed in this display and can be switched off here. The Y axis labels can be set horizontally as well as positioned at the top, center or bottom of the axis. It is also possible to give more space to the labels. Grid lines can be added. The spacing between the lines is dependent on the axes large and small tick spacing. To revert the data view to standard display settings, we can use the view menu or a right click menu. I hope that you will find these overdraw and custom display settings useful. They should save you some time when readying your data for presentation.